Hello, welcome back to Grand Sushi Live. Today I want to show you a little bit of my little project that I did just earlier today. So it's basically something like this. Um, it's a mime uh, from Rococo. And I just make this character posing like this and kind of acting to the <clears throat> to the head here. I don't see you. <clears throat> In case I don't see ya, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Yeah, so it's just basically like really simple. It's just uh, I'm reading the line from the Truman Show. Yeah, I think that's the best line from that show, I think. And I just want to try and record it using FastCap app on the iPhone. So I'm still using this app. This is since the iPhone 10. Actually, any recent iPhone can do this, including the iPhone 13. You don't need to have the the Pro version, just normal iPhone with a Face ID. So every now and then, I record my face reading a line, or you know, like just talking, talking to myself, or when when you're every now and then you record your voice, but instead of just recording the voice. I'm also recording my face animations. I don't know why, but I just like doing that. So in this case, of course, I'm turning it into an animations. And this is the something that I record earlier. So I'm recording my face and the animations and just turning it into this face, this head. And the process is pretty simple. I'm using Blender 2.92. So before we have this uh, mime and the head, this is already set up for the camera, so including the light and everything. But the head itself, if I want to show you the process, I simply import it into Blender. So file, import, <coughs> excuse me, FBX, and then go to download and just import the quick recording of my face okay this uh, import fbx so we have the face usually like this we select all by type mesh shift select and turn off the auto smoothing of the normal so this is the head doing the talking and if we want to bring in the voice Go to video sequence editor, shift A, import the movie, download, and just bring in the video. Usually it's come with the video, but we just want uh, the audio, so I just deleted the video, display waveform, increase the volume, so we have the audio. And let's see. In case I don't see yet. <laughs> you might notice that Blender sometimes changes the the time FPS. So it's lo reloaded as 60 FPS, uh, but it's kind of it's wrong. So I need to save this. First of all, this is face talk. Just gonna delete everything. File import FPX again. You will see the frame rate will reload it into 24 frames per second. Select all by type again, mesh. So now the audio. I don't see you. <coughs> In case I don't see ya, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. So yeah, I think that's pretty, pretty good. And the head is this is the whole animation is around 330 frames per second and I recorded my performance capture as FPX or as BVH so we're gonna import BVH and this is the motion motion capture data is usually um, because I'm performing, uh, I'm capturing actually capturing the face using my iPhone and then capturing the body using the iPad. Uh, I can do it 
uh, actually at the same as the same time if if I'm using the TDPD app I can do this in pause anyway but it's just a matter of cutting the performance now so it's basically more or less like this I'm holding my iPhone here on the hand and it's just a matter of rotating this so let's uh, play back sync to audio and graph editor this is the motion of the the hands maybe I, I need to rotate it okay the hand doesn't have animation actually so I just need to rotate it because this character is gonna be holding the head yeah okay so basically it's like that and I just need to bring in Bruno file import FBX again we're gonna just find Bruno bring in the armature actually in this case I want to force connect children and automatic bone orientations so we have Bruno again it's just a matter of transferring the animations using Rococo just gonna show you the whole process again so this is the motions this is the mime target build the bone retarget animation Okay, the animation is transferred. Okay, the this hand animations need to be rotated. is holding the head right and let's see for this I just bring the bone to the front and I want to rotate the head down so it's looking at the his own head all right so and the neck also So now let's bring the head <laughs> so the head can be replaced with anything maybe even like a like a skull okay something like that so I'm using the group scaling and now I'm creating object constraint target it into the mime skeleton and the bone will be the hand right hand oh okay it's being transformed let me just set in first so I just click on the set in first and now the head should be correct I need to fix the shader of this character make it less shiny
Yes, I don't see ya. Good afternoon, good evening, and good night. So that's uh, pretty much roughly how I did this. Wrong. In case I don't see ya, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. So maybe I should start at this frame. In case I don't see ya, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Yeah, so that's basically the whole process. Uh, just for the simple kind of like acting animations. Just need to give like a dramatic light. And I need to work. Need to work on my light lighting, but yeah. In case I don't see ya. Good afternoon, good evening, and good night. So I think the the face cap app is always. It's just a. It gives a good animations enough for dialogue like a talking and simple emotion it's not like full fidelity animations with all the wrinkle etc but i think it's a uh, kind of good for comical character like this um yeah maybe next time i'll do i'll try to do like puppetering if it's real time you will have to do the acting and talking just like a like a muppet you have that's a little bit more difficult but maybe more interactive i want to try doing that so currently of course the motion capture doesn't capture the the fingers and my character in this case is not animating in real time and the head is also just something i recorded earlier but yeah i think it's still pretty powerful tools uh, that you can use as animators um so yeah give it a try uh, again face cap app um another way to do this is maybe using unity and there's a unity app exactly doing the same thing for character inside unity that's also something to try or actually using snapchat snapchat lens maybe something that i will try to try to get into a little bit deeper so Lens Studio is really powerful uh, already for character animations and real-time performance in case you want to create your own virtual character. Uh, there you go. But hopefully you find this useful. Thanks again for tuning in. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.